Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Antoinette. For today's video, it's one of the most requested video that I got. Uh, many of my subscribers are asking me if I could show them on how I'm gonna treat my Chanel 19 in light gray. As you can see, this one is really pretty. However, it's a lighter color and for many of us we are aware light color bags are really prone to color transfer color transfer is when your bag has some contact with a darker color and actually transfer on the bag and usually it happens with light colored bags so what I do myself for my lighter colored bags I spray it with a color carbon pro spray and actually that's like a water repellent as well as stain repellent you do need to spray that every every six months I think if you're like actively using the bag I did have a video for the mini rectangular for this however you guys wanted to see how I do it on my Chanel 19 just a disclaimer Chanel doesn't recommend you to actually do anything or treat your bags because you know as they say you know you just make sure that you wear a light colored clothing with your light colored bags or after you use it just wipe it off so they actually want you to just clean your bags after you're using it and so to me I prefer myself actually pre-treating my bags so for a peace of mind that I don't have to baby my bags as much especially the light colored bags and so I decided I'm gonna treat this Chanel 19 I just want to be on the safe side these bags are not cheap you know they're on the higher price range so once you get the color transfer, it's actually really hard to come off. So that's why I decided I'm gonna treat this bag. I'm gonna bring this bag on our trip to Hawaii. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be a little bit rough on this bag. So I just wanna make sure that in case it rains, in case that, you know, I'm gonna be with my kids. So in case, you know, we get dirty little hands on my bag that I'm, um, able to easily wipe them off so I'm gonna show you step by step on how I do it and so yeah so again as a disclaimer Chanel do not recommend you pre-treating your bag as what they say just wear light colored clothing when you're wearing your light colored bags and also pre-wash your jeans when you're actually wearing some jeans with a bag don't wear like a dark colored jeans so you know this is like for myself I just want a peace of mind so I'm gonna treat my bags anyway and I've never had a problem I did it with my beige clear caviar I did it with my mini rectangular and so far no issues with that and what I like about the Colomar Carbon Pro is that it's water repellent and so I'm thinking, you know, you never know if it's going to rain. So, you know, with the water repellent, you will be able to wipe them off. But of course, I'm going to carry like a plastic bag with me. Um, so in case it rains heavily, I could put the bag in there. So I know it's kind of embarrassing, but I really wanted to use this um, to my trip. So yeah, so I'm going to treat this bag and I'm going to share it with you. So if you're gonna have any questions as far as the steps, please feel free to comment down below or you could also message me on Instagram at alwaysantonette and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions. So let's get started in treating this beauty right here. She'll be ready to go to Hawaii with me. So now let's get started and treat this Chanel 19. This is the Colonel Carbon Pro Spray. First things first, before you do anything on any of your bags, do a test spot first. So you always want to spot test on the inside flap. It's on the conspicuous area. So you'll see if there is some kind of, any kind of discoloration that the spray would do. So here I'm going to try it on the inside flap. So now I'm going to get started and I'm going to do a test spot on this section right here. And the reason for this is that when it's dry, I wanted to see if it shows any kind of unevenness to the color of the bag. And that would mean that I will not spray it on the entire bag. And when you spray, make sure you spray it evenly and have a good distance. Now that is the area where I sprayed the Carbon Pro. 
and I waited a good 30 minutes and as you can see here there is no unevenness it looks even the spray has dried so now we can proceed to the entire bag let's start on the inside flap and make sure that your spray has completely dried before proceeding to another section So now the inside has completely dried and we are going to buff that later. Now I'm going to be treating the outside of the bag as well as the chain strap. As you can see there are leather um, around the chain strap so I'm going to be spraying that as well as more than likely we're going to be handling the strap as well. Please make sure you cover all sections and don't worry if you accidentally spray on the metal part. We will buff it off right at the end so you're okay. So now the front part of the bag has completely dried and so now I'm going to resume spraying the rest of the bag. And for the back of the bag, I really wanted to make sure that this one is well covered. So between spray, you have to dry it in between spray. I usually treat it twice since the back of the bag usually get more of the color transfer. So make sure that your bag is completely dry before you're gonna buff it. So now I'm ready to buff the entire bag. So make sure you buff the inside, the outside, the chain strap and everything. Buff it well and you could use a buffer. The one that you got from Chanel or if you don't have this, just get a plain white cloth or an old t-shirt. So guys, so how is it? It's not really that hard, is it? Just make sure that you're careful with the steps. Just make sure that you pre-treat and test it before on a conspicuous area just to make sure that there is no certain reaction on your bag before you actually treat the entire bag. And that's really, you know, my advice. So to me, I would rather be safe than sorry. You know, it's, it's hard to get rid of color transfer. So that's why I treated my bag. Thank Thank you so much for watching this video today if you find this video helpful please don't forget to like and subscribe have a blessed day guys and i'll see you soon